The message today is entitled Sabbath Reform and Reverence. Amen. What did I say? Sabbath Reform and Reverence. Sometime in the 2011, I was conducting Bible study in a home um, here in Brooklyn. A number of people would come. And after a little while in the home, I was standing before the students, the group, the Bible study students. And the Lord said to me, Sabbath reform. It was not a part of the study. And uh, since that time, I developed a responsibility for presenting Sabbath reform need within the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And then I called, I called a few people. One was Princess Trapman from Maryland, officially a Vincentian. Then, Dr. Ingrid Espinay. She was living somewhere in Maryland and she went back home to take care of her mommy. And then Rupert Gosain in Virginia. I called him. And then I called Erica Houston, who was here some weeks ago. She's in Tennessee. And then I went set up an appointment to speak with the General Conference President. So we went to meet with him, myself and Alex Abe. Alex Abe is in uh, West Central Gabon, Africa. So I had him and Princess and I went in and sat down with Ted Wilson. So we spoke with Ted Wilson for about an hour. Ted Wilson doesn't speak to anybody for an hour. Fifteen minutes and you're here. Busy. We tried to get him on to join the program because we are doing a, we we're planning a program for New York. They were going to have Evangelism 13, 2013 in the city. So with that in mind, we tagged that to Sabbath reform in the John Conference office, spoke to the president and tried to convince him and he eventually accepted to set up a, a, a view in the, um, in the New Haven Church, I think it was, New Haven Church. So I'm shortening the story. He got involved as a part of the program. That was the first time we would meet. And then after that, I met him again after the Texas, um, after the Texas general conference session. He's just a regular man, that's all right. I'll put it just so. One of the regular guys. I had Pastor Peter Prime, who was our conference president, union president, then he came straight to the general conference. I had him preached. Well, not I, we, we are a team of us. And after his sermon, he met me in the front of the church at New Haven and said to me, Cleaver, I did not understand the Sabbath. He grew up in the church. He went to Adventist school. He was a pastor, conference president, union president. General Conference Advisor, a Ministerial Director, one of the Associate Directors, World Church, and say, I know I said the Sabbath. And I watched him. I said, well, we're now starting. We have to continue. So he began writing a book. And I finished it. But you know, sometimes books take you years to write. I'm talking to you here, but I am very, 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 very careful as to not talk to Adventists about Adventist business. 
This is our business, that's all. We found out that the Adventist church has never kept the Sabbath. Sabbath reform is a church business. It's a home affair. It's a home affair. Did I say home affair? It's a home affair. What I mean by that? When you get ready for the Sabbath, you start from Sunday. Amen. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day, the Sabbath of the Lord thy God, in it thou shalt not do Wake him up. Thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter. Finish the rest. Nor thy, nor thy, that is within thy gates. Why? For in the Lord in heaven, the sea, and rested on the seventh day. Wherefore, you are Sabbath day. Sabbath reform and reverence. It's a message. The song says, I will follow thee. Jesus, I will follow thee. For I hear thee calling me. Loving, trusting, glad I come to let thee lead me home. This is on the old church hymnal 429. And this, this, in, little eyes might lose the way. Little feet might go astray. I might weak and weary be, but thou art strong for me. Yes. Grief and want may be my foes. Foolish sins my will oppose. Full of courage I will be whenever I follow thee. I will follow thee. I will follow thee. I will follow thee wherever thou dost lead. And the song says, Savior, while my heart is tender, I would yield that heart to thee. All my powers to thee surrender, thine and only thine to be. Take me now, Lord Jesus, take me. Let my youthful heart be thine. Thy devoted servant make me. Fill my soul with love divine. Send me, Lord, where you will send me. Only do thou guide my way. May your grace through life attend me. Gladly then shall I obey. I will draw the nearer to Jesus. You know, I wonder about the Sabbath still, you know. Do we know where the Sabbath came from? In God's plan creating this earth, he left the Sabbath for the last day. The final touch was the Sabbath. And Adam and Eve had to, my grandfather said, have to sit down on a prepared place, him and his wife. And then they had to watch God keep the Sabbath. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. They had to watch God because there was no example anywhere else. So we need an example again about the Sabbath. So let me, ex give me, let me give an experience that happened to me recently while coming here. My wife see you talk too much, but I have to talk. I gotta talk. I have to. Because people must know what people go through. So you will know this this morning. What I have to know. Last year, March, when March opened up, I was asked to take two sisters. Two what? Sisters. sisters. To work in Manhattan, dropping them every day, twice a day in Manhattan. You see that shade that I got here? It was because of that. Huh. Did you hear that thing? Yes. Okay. God does not mix matters. You're either with him or you're not with him. Take your pick. And so, and so, and so. I would drive them up and bring them back, and there was nothing going on. We already had COVID, so everybody out of their house. Except me, I go in and carry people to work. W-O-R-K, and I didn't, it didn't hit me until recently. And I say, oh, what am I doing? I grew up in this church. All my life. Hmm. 
Never won their work for anybody on the Sabbath. How come? The Lord is talking to me, how come you carrying people to work on the Sabbath? Check yourself. So then I told him, I said, listen, I got to change course. Because y'all are going to work. And I carry y'all to work on the Sabbath. Something wrong with that. Yes. I can't do it. I don't care if I starve, I'm not doing it anymore. I don't need the money. Keep your money. This is just two months ago I'm saying this I'm talking about. And so I had to wiggle my way out. Wiggle my way out of this Sabbath caring to work with these sisters who are Adventists. So I said to my citizen, I said, you will have to handle all your story. I ain't a part of that. I said, my father used to run taxi. My elder brother run taxi. The second to last brother run taxi. I never did no taxi for nobody in my life. First time. Why I run taxi for you on the Sabbath? Are you crazy? I'm not coming back. So close the books on that. And they say, we want a desk coming here. I say, okay. Sunday to Thursday, that's it. Why am I saying this? Because if you're working anywhere, the time will come when they are going to tell you you have to work for two hours on Saturday. You went to Sabbath. There's no Sabbath for the non-believer. So then I had to go back. So Lord, the Lord gave me the Sabbath reform message and I am going against the Sabbath. Something wrong with that. And I would come here to this building and not to run off, you know. You all could see that, but you don't know why I'm running off. I'm going to carry people to work. So this could happen to any fool, I mean anybody. <laughs> It's not happening to me again, anywhere, Amen. anytime, Amen. no time. Amen. I'll finish with that. You know what? The Lord says to me, I will provide your food. Yes. And the water, they call it bread and water. I don't care who he or she is, I'm not going. Mm. Wife, picnic, brother, child, I'm not going. Before the sun sets, the members of the family must assemble to read God's word, sing and pray. We do not need to have a reform in this area. We should know that already. The Sabbath day and the services of worship is wrapped in the sacred garb of the day of atonement, people. Leviticus chapter 19. I want to read that. Verse 30. Leviticus 19 and verse 30. Let's have two readers. We will enter into tradition. Next person find Leviticus 26 and verse 2. First one, 19 and verse 30. Alright? Who's going to read? First one, 19 and verse 30. You shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. Say it again. You shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord. Who said that? The Lord. Keep my Sabbath and what? Reverence the sanctuary, the house of worship. Therefore, I'm not laying on any laws, I'm just saying what it is. Even though this is not what we call a church building, it's the house of worship. Amen? And I'm going kind of selfish. I'm not too soft. We, when we come to this house of worship, we come knowing that God is here. Yes. God comes here before us. Amen. We are coming to meet him. We are coming to be encouraged or welcomed by him, by his presence in here. Yes. So walking up and down after Bounta must stop. Except there's a need for the book. In the restroom. That's right. And I'm as serious as you could get. Yes. We have to do that. Yes. You know why? The Sabbath is couched in 
the closing of probation connotation. This is where your salvation is finalized in Sabbath observance. Yes. All the commandments and the Ten Commandments, they, they circle the Sabbath. The Sabbath is, is in the middle of all of that. The Sabbath is the reason for living. It's because of who God is we have to keep the Sabbath. Amen. 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 I'm letting you know. If you have children, you have six days to prepare them for Sabbath. Amen. What do I mean? Clothes ready. House clean and ready. You know what you're cooking before the Sabbath? And it's not on Sabbath you're cooking. And by the way, my wife didn't believe this. I told her, I said, when you cook, baby, don't put the food in the refrigerator. Leave the food on the stove, by the window. And God can preserve it. Amen. As if that didn't make sense. I was a youth director. The mission in Suriname. We were running a camp. And in the camp, I said, no cooking in this camp for food on Sabbath. So cook the food on Friday and preserve it. Same way. Put the juices in bottles, locked, put them in the water. And it will stay cold. Amen. Hello. Mm -hmm. You hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Because I had to do this to take care of young people, a hundred of them sometimes. God tells us what to do Amen. and how. And by the way, this is not for, this is for every one of us. Yes. This is reform change time because probation is swiftly closing. I was going to bring you some executive orders. No, I have a whole pack of them for the country. But I'll share them with you so you can let them see what is what I'm talking about. Things are happening so fast. Hmm. You get up in the morning and the whole thing is changed. Hmm. Laws are changed. Mm -hmm. And by the way, every state are shifting in this country has at least one concentration camp. Mm -hmm. yes. I don't want to let you know. I know that about I know about that. And the largest one is up in um um not Alaska. Yeah, up in Alaska, Alaska side. Can take a million people in a camp. What is taking you to go into the for the camp for? Find a way home. Home. You know, home? Wherever you were born, that is home. If you want to go over the bush, fine. But make sure when you go, you are properly preserved and protected. You just go on your own because people are going. Amen. It is the final step in the plan of salvation as taught in the sanctuary. Sabbath reform, in case it didn't go, came out of the seven candlesticks. And the one in the middle is Jesus. Yes. And he is here to sanctify and to finish us for glory. Yes. And Sabbath keeping is a part of that. Hello? Yes. Okay. So if you go back to a regular church, you know what you know how you don't not doing. The power of the Almighty is to be found in the Sabbath. Because the Sabbath worship experience comes with those who have been relating with God in the week. Yes. For there he meets with man to who is finally completing his image of Jesus. Christ is the image that we are modeling after. And Sabbath, at the time when you look at it, you are focused on him to make sure we are measuring up to the expectation he has in his hand for us. And by the way, as I said this morning somehow, that every single person who is going to be saved have a particular responsibility upon this earth forever. Hmm. Yeah. Let me repeat that. Every saint who goes to glory 
has a particular course or function in God's kingdom forever. Everyone. So don't think that my skill is yours. And vice versa. God has a job for each one of us for eternity. Hello? So this is just practice ground. Hello? This is what? what? Practice ground. The power of the Almighty is to be found in the Sabbath. So when we come to Sabbath worship, we come to regenerate, recharge, fix up, get ready and face the world of not too nice people. But we're going to be okay. Because we are covered in Christ's God. For therein he meets with man who is finally complete in the image of Jesus. Thus each weekly Sabbath are to be beginning more and more or becoming more and more like Jesus. Yes. So if we spend seven Sabbaths or 52 Sabbaths, we should be better at the last one. Yes. Yes. Hello! Yes. We should be what? Better. A Sabbath observance. Exodus 24, 15 to 18, the next reader. The Sabbath is the one and only experience on this earth where we can taste something of eternity and heaven. Yes. Let me read that again. The Sabbath is the one and only experience on this earth where we can taste something of eternity and heaven. It's a weekly oasis. Then I say oasis? Where you come and sit down and drink of the heavenly manna and eat of the bread that comes from the one who made the bread. Amen? Amen. Yes. Sabbath is a very important Important. So, Exodus 24, 15 to 18, please, somebody. Okay. And Moses went up into the mount, and a cloud covered the mount, and the glory of the Lord abode upon Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days, and the seventh day, and the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud, and uh, the sight of the glory of the Lord was like the devouring fire, of, devouring the fire. Go ahead. of the monk in the eyes of the children of Israel. Read it and again. Mo and Moses went into the midst of the cloud and got him up into the monk of, and Moses was in the monk 40 days and 40 nights. Read it again. Whole thing. Yes, for emphasis. <laughs> and Moses went up into the mount, and a cloud covered the mount, and the glory of the Lord abode upon Mount Sinai. Stop. When we come here on the Sabbath, God covers the place. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> His presence yes, gets in the midst yes. and cover it. Amen. So we are safe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. God, what? He covers it. Amen. Look upon Jesus. Amen. Covered with his life. Amen. Come up. Amen. That's who he is. Amen. These are my children. I am covering them. Amen. Keep reading, my sister. Keep reading. You're not finished. And the cloud covered it six days and the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the clouds yes and the sight of the glory of the Lord was like devouring, devouring. fire yeah. on the top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Israel and brothers and sisters trust God to take care of you Your home, you and your family. 
he has concerns for the family you know. that is why we had a, that, that's why Abraham was asking for Lot and Hagar asking for her family to be saved he has family concerns yes. he wants everyone in the family to make it to glory I was I was staying at a home Thanksgiving time in in a Pennsylvania in the Poconos. That early morning I had a vision. And in the vision I was in heaven. And while in heaven I saw my children there. Amen. Amen. I saw them. And when the sun woke up in the morning, I mean the S-U-N, I opened the window and I took my phone and I called the children. Now these are all married people, you know, but they're my children. Mm. I called them and I said, I had a vision and I went to heaven last night, last night and I saw you in heaven, boy. Hey, I saw you in heaven, boy. And I called the other ones. To save the family, Amen. yes, the whole family, Amen. the little ones and the ones who think they're big. But with God, we are all children. children. You're not big. Sabbath reform. The Sabbath is a one and only experience on this earth where we can taste something of eternity and heaven once a week yes once a week on this day we are to review the awful grandeur in keeping with the sabbath as god's rest day for us could someone reach me matthew 11 28 and hebrews 4 and verse 4. matthew 11 28 Hebrews 4 and verse 4. Two different readers. Alright, let's go. Come unto me, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So you gotta work. You have to work in the week. What did I say? Yeah. We have to work in the week, otherwise you can't keep the Sabbath. Hello? Yeah. If you do not work, you cannot rest. Rest is for people who work in. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. So why are you staying home? Well, if you stay home, clean your home. Clean all your clothes. Wash down the walls. Find yourself busy. Don't just stay home. Do something about staying home. Yes. Otherwise, you can't keep the Sabbath. The Sabbath requires six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Don't change that. Hmm. God draws near to have fellowship with man on Sabbath. Yes. Exodus 28, he said, and the Sabbath, what? 20 and verse 8, Exodus 20. We got to move on the sofa. I have a long, I, I will have to. Exodus 20, 2 0, verse number 8. Come on, read it. Okay. I don't know why I want you to be a part, but if you're moving a little slow, I gotta move. All right, everybody got it? That's all. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, holy. It has a night part and a day part. We in the day part, the night part when you're ready. So the night part has to be occupied with spiritual things, like songs, Amen. and readings, and stories. The night time. The, the house is set already, so you don't see the house anymore. Hello? Yeah. Huh? Yes. And the food is already finished cooking, because the sun goes down. Can't be cooking, the sun ain't going down yet. I mean, and the sun going down, you go, the sun going down and you still cooking? Care of that. If we do not take care of that, we can't be safe. It's very, very crucial that we take care of that. 
It's a part of the sealing process. Amen. Hello. Amen. It's a part of the sealing process. What sealing? Sealing us for eternity and heaven. If he's still making tea, I'm going to be so radical. We're something wrong with our cup. So get a hot pot or a hot plate and we'll put it on the stove and have it water and then make the tea. Hello! Oh, forget the tea! Mm -hmm. I have to make it to glory. Yeah. And by God's grace, I will. Amen. He showed me heaven and I was there. Mm -hmm. I'm not changing that. How much do you believe God? Do you really believe God? I mean for truth? Yes. Just to say yes, you say yes? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. The church is going through its final stage of the judgment. Do you know that? The church is going through its final stage of the judgment in heaven. The judgment of the people who call themselves, you know, Matthew 13, is it 13 who gave me the story about the people who had oil in the lamp and some had oil in the lamp and nothing else? 25. 25. Huh? 25. 25. You know, if we don't have enough oil in the lamp, then we can't keep the Sabbath. And we who have been in the church for years and years and years, like me, grow up in the church, I gotta be careful. So the Lord didn't have to tell me five times, come out of that. Hmm. I'm not going back in that for nobody, no time, except there is a emergency that I didn't know about before and the come on Sabbath morning I have to go it's an emergency saints of God coming to this church today will change your life forever Amen. I know that after sitting down with the general conference president last, last year a pastor from Guinea who was in John Conference died and we went to funeralize him in Maryland. And after the funeral service was finished, I saw the president then. I went and sat by the president. I said, you remember me? I said, I'm the guy who spoke to you about Saudi reform. You remember? And I spoke just like that. Not, just, not disrespecting. I'm a big man too. Not disrespecting. But we believe that these men are gone. They're not God. They are God's mouthpiece when they gave their life to Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Mm. Numbers 15 and verse 39. Could somebody read that? Numbers 15 and verse 39. I'm just selecting one because I can't do all of it. Numbers 15. Verse 39. And it shall be unto you. And it shall? It shall be unto you for a trench, and ye may look upon it, and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them. And that ye seek not after your own heart, and your own eyes, after which ye used to go away. Yesterday, mm -hmm. I was on a... Um, <coughs> I was by a gas station there, or right by Rockaway. I went to fill some gas in this vehicle. And there were two policemen at the gas station, two or three of them. And I saw them coming towards me. So I stood up. I said, how are you gentlemen doing? Um, I said, my name is Calendar. Let me tell you, I have a problem with that. I'm not in any more story. And then, and then the guys asked me, um, we are doing some checkup here right now and we're going to be doing tickets in the next two weeks. Um, I didn't listen to that yet. I said, listen. I said, let me ask you a question. Now, I, I am a bold guy. I said, now, 
Why are you wearing blue clothes? Just so. He said, I don't know. I said, okay. You got a phone? Open your Bible. The younger one, open the Bible and find number 15. Read from 37 and enjoy yourself. Read it. Then he read and he laugh. So I laughing. I said, blue is for the law. That's why you're a lawkeeper, a law preserver. You're supposed to maintain the law, not so? Have a good day, brother and gentlemen, and I was gone. That's the second time I did that. Because they are supposed to keep the Sabbath too. Yes. It's not for Adventists, it's for the whole world. Yes. It's not for Adventists, it's for everybody upon the earth. Yes. Remember the Sabbath, they to keep it holy, everybody. Hmm. I am raising it because of this, and the Lord is coming. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And the Sunday is about the Sabbath. Yes, it is. And the Adventist church. Let me repeat myself. This Sunday law is about the Adventist church. There's a guy who is so for general conference. His name is um, Samuel Bakioki. Mm. Bakioki, when he brought the first book out, I was publishing director in the South Carolina conference. And I, he had a lot of books and they couldn't sell it. Jesuit. Hmm. Well, I didn't have all the info yet. Hmm. And then, and then, and then, he decided to do a flea market. I prepared the flea market and invited to bring the conference people in and sell the holy books. Then I met him years after that in Georgia at the conference office, at the church right there, Sabbath morning. And then here there was a news a newspaper from Maryland. We had two two popes. Hmm. They had Pope um, what the, the pre- previous pope was whatever name. Huh? Huh? No, before Benedict. John Paul. John Paul. And then after John, then 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 they had two pictures. They had the Pope and 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 Bakioki. Mm. And a magazine. So I said, what kind of stupid this is this? He he said they call him and he laughing about it, you know. They were laughing about it. He laughing. Well, he died. He what? Died. Who died? Bakioki? Yeah, long dead. Bakioki back out. Yeah. He back out, he dead. I mean, he's dead, he's buried. Finish it. God will not stand mess in the yeah. church. Yes. God will not stand mess in his church. He will clean us up. Or clean us out. Mm. Yes. My plan by the grace of God is to remain faithful Hallelujah. by the grace of God. All, all difference between the family or the church must be handled. I'm talking to our reform. All difference in your family or the church, fix that. Fix it. Otherwise you would not be happy. If you're hiding from somebody from where you came, when you go back, fix it. Pray first though. Don't let's go. Pray first and say, Lord, I'm having such and such an issue. Please, Lord, I can't fix it by myself. Please help me. Fix it. Because if you don't fix it, you're not going to heaven. Having unsolved matters in your heart. Mm is a reason why you and I could not see the Lord's face and be saved. I ain't going up that road. I'm here too long. I can't do that. I have to fix it. And I mean what I say. And I'm asking all of you to think the same way. Salvation is a personal matter. It's not a church matter. It's a personal encounter with God and you. I met Pastor Prime in Maryland. He called me. He said, Clear up! Boy, the Lord got you. I said, Pastor Prime, I don't want that to waste, you know. I said, Where the book? He knew his father and mother and some of the children. The sun rolls down. And before I read that, she says, Great Controversy 528, it says on, on Friday, 
Let the preparation for the Sabbath be completed. See that all the clothing is in readiness. And that all the cooking is done. Before the setting of the sun. And not like, let all, let all secular work be laid aside. And all secular papers be put out of sight. Hmm. Parents explain your work. Parents explain your work and its purpose to your children. And let them share in your preparation to keep the Sabbath according to the commandments. GC 528. Remember the Sabbath day. Child guidance chapter 79. She says, we should jealously guard the edges of the Sabbath. Remembering that every moment is consecrated holy time. That is why I was happy when they said last week, let's stop and close the Sabbath. You see, I could forget. <clears throat> that was a plan to forget. You're not seeing any light. So you, you, know, so you don't know. We have to help each other. Yes. We are Seventh Day Adventist Christians. That's a marked difference between anybody else on the earth. Church Himmel, page 59. Number 59. No, there's a song. You see, the sun rolls down. The what? The different the distant rest. When 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 we are closing the Sabbath, we are doing a Sabbath closing song. Some kind of too close to the edge, right? We select our songs. And I'm talking about Sabbath worship is a home affair, you know. Yes. Did I say it right? Yeah. It's a home affair. Because all those members that are staying home, they still have to be keeping the Sabbath as God requires. Yes. Hold a second. Sometimes the Lord put something in my head. I don't want to forget. So I had to go back to the source. It says the sun rolls down the distant west. Soft twilight steals abroad. To welcome in the day of rest, the Sabbath of the Lord. If you're traveling on your way to your home, and for some reason, having left on time, you got late, you ask God, wherever you are, first to pardon you, because you chose the wrong time to come out of the tongue. But ask him and he will in his loving mercy pardon you. I believe that. You know why I believe that? Because I will do that for my child. Mm. Mm. Sabbath reform must become a house of fear. Yes. A home of fear. So we can work together. God requires that the mind should be disciplined to dwell upon sacred themes on the Sabbath. No movie hmm. or game or music. Put it away. As good as it might sound, put it away. The judgment begun in 1844. It will be completed soon. How I know? The things happening right right now in this country is a major sign that probation is dragging to the close. Yes. Dragging to the close. And when it closes, I want to be on the inside. Yes. All of us here are 
brothers and sisters. That's who we are, you know. We are who? Brothers. God has no grandchildren. We are all his children. So we have to look out for each other. Don't play your good and you're not good. Nobody, no man is good but God. <laughs> Sabbath keeping is the heart of the Ten Commandments. John 14, 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. True Sabbath keeping is a sign that we are being sanctified or set apart by God for heaven. But this setting apart is a day by day activity. Ecclesiastes, Ezekiel chapter 4, chapter 20. Ezekiel 20, 10 to 13. Ezekiel 20. I try to get you involved. That's why I don't want you to sleep on Ezekiel 20. 10 to 13. All right? All right, who's, who's going to read? Read, please. 10 to 13, read, please, and then louder. No, could you read a little clearer, please? Wherefore, I caused them to go forth out of the land of Egypt, and brought them into the wilderness. And I gave them my statutes, and shewed them my judgments, which, if a man do, he shall even live in them. Moreover also, I gave them my Sabbaths, to be a sign between me and them, that they might know that I am the Lord that sanctified them. But the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They walked not in my statutes, and they despised my judgments, which if a man do, he shall even live in them. And my Sabbaths they greatly polluted. Then I said, I will pour out my fury upon them in the wilderness to consume them. Yeah. But I wrote for my name's sake. Is that the 13? Yes. Sorry. Do you know that the only Bible writer that I have found that deals with Sabbath reform is a man called Nehemiah? Yes. Nobody else. Don't ask me that yet. But I'm asking, why? The devil fights against the Sabbath, you know. Oh, yeah. And he's still fighting against the Sabbath. But God made sure that it's in the Bible. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, whole day. I add whole day. Am I wrong if I add, if I say holy, whole day? Okay. Very important. Children needs to know why are they having to come to church. You know, when I was a little boy, we got to get up in the morning early, take a bath. Well, they didn't have bath in those days. We take the bath the day before. Yes, the day before. I know you will say, "Nasty," nah, but you can <laughs> say that before. And we took all the clothes on Friday and hung it up to put on on Sabbath to go to church. To go to church. And stay in church whole day. Come home in the afternoon before the sun sets or when the sun sets and get ready to go back to social. Every week. Every week. The old sisters and they make the sugar cake and the this and the that and we, we know we're having stuff to eat. Don't worry about that. God has been providing for me. Since I'm small. He's changing his plans now. Let me point my hand to the left. You see the brother over here? Let me tell you what he don't know I tell people. God pick him. Mm -hmm. yes. Not for this. God pick him. To be glory. Amen. I happen to know that. The Lord told me that. Mm. And you cannot be lost. Watch me. You cannot be lost. Mm -hmm. I mean you have to make up your mind. But loss is not in your vocabulary. You can't do that. Otherwise, you disappoint God and your whole family. Yes. Can't do that. It is my plan for me that the present siblings alive, my sister in Michigan, my two brothers back home, I intercede for them 
Every day. Yes. They're my sister and my brothers. Every day. We have to do the same thing for our siblings that you have. Amen? Amen. That's what Rehab did. Sabbath keeping is the heart of the commandment I said. The Sabbath observance is a sign that we have been sanctified or set apart for God or by God for heaven. But this setting apart is a day by day activity. Finally. Yes, it's a final. Yeah. Finally, finally. But how many of us expect to go home to heaven? How many of us expect to go? See, how many expect to go? Go to heaven? How many of us expect to go on? Lose your hands. Go to heaven? Okay. Those of you who don't love you who didn't expect your hand is not fix your hand, something wrong with your hand. <laughs> Massage your hand. Never come late to Sabbath school is an old song for a little boy. Never come late to Sabbath school. Be there when the moment passes. Sabbath school superintendent to come and ring a bell. Oops. Never let others wait for you. Be ready in all your classes. Never come late to school. Never come late to school. This is a rule for each of you. Teachers and students to come early. Never come late. I said, my mommy made sure as the children went to church every Sabbath. My father wasn't in church. But for some reason, there's a guy in New York with him, is Earl Baldwin. And a crusade in a place called Pleasantville and baptized my father. Amen. I was in South America back in those times. So my father died in the church. Amen. 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 Yes. If one comes late to the church service on the Sabbath, please walk humbly to your place and sit down. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Okay. The Sabbaths, the Sabbath are our great cathedrals. The Jewish equivalent of sacred architecture. Heschel also noted that people built their architecture in space. We, Heschel, are Jews, like contrast, build our cathedrals in time. The Sabbath is a Jewish intestinal cathedral in time. Yes. We are not building one you can see. We are building it by practice. So we could meet together in fellowship. We need Sabbath reform. Amen. From home to the church. From the church to the community. From the community back home to close the Sabbath. Finally, the Sabbath represents the climax of an eventful era, an eventful experience, a program, a walk, a journey. It is to be a joyful finish of that which is embarked upon on a Sunday. You start it on Sunday and you end it on Friday. The Sabbath well kept is a glimpse of the eternal world and the church in heaven of which we are a part. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Church hymn number 61. I won't read no songs now. Sabbath observance is a one day affair while it's living is a daily experience from Sunday to Friday. Hello? Amen. Sabbath observance of the one day affair. Preparation is six days. Hello? Yes. Yes. Six days. Six days we have to work and play. 
the seven is for Jesus. We upon this holy day, for it belongs to Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six for us. One, two, three, four, five, six for us. One, two, three, four, five, six for us. The seven days for Jesus. Six. One of the sons I have, the biggest boy, is right now driving to Alabama. Him and his father, you know. His father he used to be the secretary of Northeastern Conference and his family. I'm saying it's because they chose their own time, but I wanted to pray for them. Uh, he has three children, that's my son, three, two girls and a boy, a boy and two girls. And I want them to be in the kingdom. I don't want that to happen with any of the children. So remember Ian, I-A-N, and his family, okay. and his calendar, that's my son. Mm -hmm. Remember him in your prayer going forward. Amen? Amen. Amen. I want to thank the church, this church, this family, this house, for giving me your prayers. I know that. Yes. And your encouragement. Yes. He checks on me. Amen. How are you doing? I, I appreciate that. Amen. Let us support each other. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let us stay faithful to Jesus. Yes. Because Christianity without Sabbath ain't no blessing. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Bless your heart. Amen. Well now you see I'm closing in now. Come. Come on, come, come, come for a special blessing. Come on. Yeah, you yourself, yes, come. What the bless wait, wait, don't I come? Okay, all right. Stay right there. We're gonna pray for you. It's all right. God bless you. Glad you came. We'll be closing out now. Closing out now. I trust that God's presence would reside in our homes Sunday to Friday. And so when we come to this house, we come knowing that His presence is here. Our Father, I do not know what the rest of the day holds, but I want to thank you for allowing us to meet today. May this opening of the Sabbath reform matter take a hold of each life, each heart, each home, and cause us to become models of Sabbath reformed motivation to all the rest of the church members wherever we find them upon this earth until heaven becomes our home. Thank you for blessing us with your presence today. And Father, when it is all set, give us the privilege of sitting down under your feet to hear the story how we overcame. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.